Lesson 1. Finding Nearby Attractions Anna, enjoy your stay here. Excuse me, do you know where the nearest tourist attractions are? Thank you, John. Yes, there are several popular attractions nearby. What are you interested in? I'm interested in historical sites and museums. Are there any within walking distance? Yes, there's a historical museum just a few blocks away. You can easily walk there from our location. That sounds great, Anna. I enjoy learning about the history of the places I visit. It's a fascinating museum, John. You'll definitely enjoy exploring the exhibits and learning about the local history. Thank you for the recommendation, Anna. Are there any other attractions in the vicinity? Absolutely, John. There's also a beautiful botanical garden nearby. It's a peaceful place to relax and enjoy nature. That sounds like a perfect way to spend some time. I'll make sure to visit the botanical garden as well. I'm sure you'll love it, John. The garden is well maintained, with a variety of plants and scenic walking paths. That's fantastic, Anna. I appreciate your suggestions. Are there any other notable attractions you can recommend? Of course, John. If you're interested in art, there's an art gallery nearby that showcases local artists' work. That's wonderful, Anna. I appreciate the opportunity to experience the local art scene. You're welcome, John. It's always nice to support local artists and get a glimpse of the creativity in the area. I completely agree, Anna. Local art reflects the culture and spirit of a place. Indeed, John. It's a great way to immerse yourself in the local culture and appreciate the talent of the community. Thank you for all the recommendations, Anna. I'm excited to explore these attractions during my stay. You're welcome, John. I'm glad I could help. I hope you have a fantastic time exploring the nearby attractions. I'm sure I will, Anna. Your suggestions have added an extra layer of excitement to my stay here. I'm glad to hear that, John. Enjoy your exploration and make wonderful memories during your visit. Thank you, Anna. I'll make the most of my time here and cherish the experiences. Lesson 2. Checking the weather and finalizing plans. Anna, it looks like it's going to be sunny today. Perfect weather for our plans, don't you think? Absolutely, John. The sunny weather will make our day even more enjoyable. Is there anything else on your mind regarding our itinerary? No, I think that covers it. We have a well-rounded plan for the day. Great! I'm looking forward to visiting the local market and trying out some delicious food. That sounds like a fantastic idea, John. The local market is known for its culinary delights. I'm excited to explore the different stalls and taste the local flavors. 
It'll be a treat for our taste buds, John. We might discover some new favorite dishes. I'm sure we will, Anna. Exploring the local cuisine is always an adventure. Absolutely. It's one of the best ways to immerse ourselves in the culture of a place. Besides the market, I'm also looking forward to visiting the botanical garden we discussed earlier. It'll be a serene and picturesque experience, John. The garden is truly a hidden gem. I can already imagine the beautiful flowers and lush greenery. It'll be a refreshing escape. It's the perfect place to relax and enjoy nature's beauty. We'll have a great time there. Indeed, Anna. I'm grateful for the opportunity to explore these wonderful attractions with you. Likewise, John. It's always more enjoyable to share experiences with a friend. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Our day is shaping up to be a memorable one. Definitely, John. Let's make the most of it and create lasting memories together. Thank you for your enthusiasm and for being such a great travel companion, Anna. You're welcome, John. It's my pleasure. I'm grateful to have you as a friend and travel partner. Likewise, Anna. Let's embrace the day and enjoy every moment of our adventure. Absolutely, John. Here's to a wonderful day filled with sunshine, laughter, and new experiences. Cheers to that, Anna. Let's make it a day to remember. Lesson 3, Starting the Journey and Sharing Flight Experiences Anna, as we embark on this journey ahead, I must ask, did you have a long flight too? Hi, John. Yes, my flight was quite long. I had a layover, which made the journey even more tiring. I can relate, Anna. Layovers can be exhausting, but they also provide an opportunity to explore new airports. That's true, John. It's interesting to see different airports and experience the unique atmosphere. Absolutely. Despite the long flights and layovers, there's always a sense of excitement when starting a new adventure. I couldn't agree more, John. The anticipation of what lies ahead makes the journey worthwhile. It's during these journeys that we often create unforgettable memories and discover new perspectives. That's the beauty of traveling, John. It broadens our horizons and enriches our lives. Indeed, Anna. Each journey is an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. It's also a chance to immerse ourselves in different cultures and connect with people from around the world. Absolutely. The people we meet along the way often leave a lasting impact on our journey. They do, John. It's fascinating to learn from their stories and share our own experiences. That's one of the reasons I enjoy traveling. It allows us to build connections and foster understanding. I feel the same way, John. 
It's a reminder that despite our differences, we are all part of a global community. Well said, Anna. Let's embrace the journey ahead with open hearts and curious minds. Absolutely, John. Here's to new adventures, unexpected encounters, and unforgettable moments. Cheers to that, Anna. Let's make this journey a remarkable chapter in our lives. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's make the most of every moment and create beautiful memories together. I'm grateful to have you as my travel companion, Anna. Let's embark on this adventure with enthusiasm and joy. Likewise, John. It's a privilege to share this journey with you. Let's make it an unforgettable experience. Thank you, Anna. Let's embrace the unknown and cherish every step of the way. Lesson 4. Approaching New Situations with Openness Anna, as we embark on this new adventure, it's important to approach such situations with an open mind. I couldn't agree more, John. Being open-minded allows us to embrace new experiences and perspectives. It helps us break free from preconceived notions and allows for personal growth and learning. Absolutely, John. When we approach things with an open mind, we invite opportunities for growth and understanding. It enables us to appreciate different cultures, traditions, and ways of life. And it fosters empathy and compassion towards others, even if their views differ from ours. That's true, Anna. It's through openness that we can build bridges and find common ground with people from diverse backgrounds. It's also important to recognize that our own beliefs and opinions may evolve when we approach situations with an open mind. Yes, Anna. Being receptive to new ideas allows us to challenge our own perspectives and expand our horizons. It encourages curiosity and a willingness to learn from others, which can lead to personal and intellectual growth. And when we approach new situations with an open mind, we create an environment that encourages collaboration and creativity. Exactly, John. It allows for the exchange of ideas and the discovery of innovative solutions. Moreover, an open mind enables us to embrace change and adapt to new circumstances. It helps us navigate unfamiliar territory with flexibility and resilience. That's why, as we embark on this adventure, let's remind ourselves to approach every situation with an open mind. I wholeheartedly agree, John. Let's embrace the unknown, be receptive to new experiences, and treasure the lessons we learn along the way. Absolutely, Anna. Here's to embracing the beauty of diversity, cultivating open-mindedness, and making the most of our journey together. Lesson 5. Building a Solid Portfolio Anna, I must say, your work is impressive. Building a solid portfolio will definitely make you stand out. Thank you, John. I put a lot of effort into curating a collection that showcases my skills and creativity. It's evident that you have a diverse range of talents and a keen eye for detail. 
I believe that a well-crafted portfolio is essential in showcasing one's abilities and attracting opportunities. Absolutely, Anna. A strong portfolio serves as a visual representation of your expertise and potential. It allows potential clients or employers to get a glimpse of what you can bring to the table. And having a solid portfolio demonstrates your commitment and dedication to your craft. It shows that you've invested time and energy into honing your skills and refining your work. That dedication and attention to detail are qualities that make you stand out from the competition. I agree, John. In a competitive market, a strong portfolio can be the key to securing exciting opportunities. It's also important to regularly update and refresh your portfolio to reflect your growth and latest projects. Absolutely. By keeping it up to date, you demonstrate your continuous learning and adaptability. And don't forget the power of storytelling through your portfolio. It helps create a connection with the viewer. That's a great point, John. Sharing the thought process and stories behind your work adds depth and authenticity. It allows others to understand your creative journey and appreciate the passion you bring to your projects. Precisely. A compelling narrative can leave a lasting impression and make your portfolio memorable. So, keep up the great work, Anna. Your impressive portfolio will undoubtedly open doors and lead to exciting opportunities. Thank you, John. I appreciate your support and encouragement. Let's continue to inspire each other on our creative journeys. Absolutely, Anna. Together, we can continue to push the boundaries of our craft and make a lasting impact. Here's to building remarkable portfolios, embracing our creativity, and seizing the opportunities that come our way. Cheers to that, Anna. Let's continue to showcase our talents and make our mark in the world. Lesson 6, Staying Vigilant Online Anna, I wanted to talk about the importance of being cautious with suspicious links and downloads online. Absolutely, John. Staying vigilant is crucial in protecting ourselves from potential threats. It's essential to be skeptical of unfamiliar links, especially those sent through unknown sources. That's right, John. Clicking on suspicious links can lead to malware infections or phishing attempts. It's always wise to double-check the source and verify the authenticity of the link before clicking. And when it comes to downloading files, we should be cautious and only obtain them from trusted sources. Absolutely, Anna. Downloading files from unverified websites can put our devices and personal information at risk. Installing reputable antivirus software and keeping it up to date can also provide an extra layer of protection. Regularly updating our operating systems and applications is equally important to patch security vulnerabilities. Additionally, being aware of common online scams and fraud tactics can help us avoid falling into their traps. That's true, Anna. 
Educating ourselves about the latest scams empowers us to make informed decisions and protect our privacy. It's also crucial to practice secure password management and enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. Absolutely, Anna. Strong passwords and extra layers of security can significantly reduce the risk of unauthorized access. And let's not forget the importance of backing up our important data regularly. It ensures we have a copy in case of any unforeseen events. You're absolutely right, Anna. Regular backups provide peace of mind and protect us from data loss. So, let's stay vigilant, John. By being cautious and implementing these practices, we can navigate the online world more safely. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Let's prioritize our online security and protect ourselves from potential threats. Here's to staying vigilant, staying informed, and enjoying the benefits of the digital world without compromising our safety. Well said, Anna. Let's make responsible online choices and encourage others to do the same. Together, we can create a safer internet environment. Lesson 7, Reviewing Agreements Thoroughly Anna, before we finalize the agreement, let's make sure to review it in detail. Absolutely, John. It's crucial to ensure that all the terms and conditions are accurately represented. We should carefully go through each section to confirm that everything aligns with our understanding. That's right, John. It's important to clarify any ambiguities and address any concerns before proceeding. Let's pay close attention to deadlines, deliverables, and any financial obligations outlined in the agreement. We should also review any clauses related to intellectual property rights and confidentiality. Absolutely, Anna. Understanding these provisions will help protect our rights and maintain confidentiality. It's also essential to check for any provisions related to termination or dispute resolution. Yes, Anna. Being aware of the procedures and remedies in such situations can save us from potential conflicts later on. We should also confirm that the agreement reflects the scope of work and any specific requirements we discussed. And let's not forget to review any appendices or attachments that are included with the agreement. That's a good point, John. We should ensure that all relevant documents are properly referenced and attached. If there are any discrepancies or changes that need to be made, we should communicate them promptly. Absolutely, John. Open and clear communication is key to reaching a mutually beneficial agreement. Once we are satisfied with the review, we can proceed with signing the final agreement. But let's remember that signing the agreement signifies our commitment to fulfilling our obligations. Indeed, Anna. It's important to approach this step with careful consideration and confidence in our decision. So, let's take the time to review the agreement thoroughly, address any concerns, and ensure a solid foundation for our partnership. I couldn't agree more, Anna. 
By doing so, we can move forward with confidence and clarity. Here's to reviewing agreements with diligence, fostering transparency, and setting ourselves up for success. Well said, Anna. Let's finalize this agreement with care and embark on a fruitful journey together. Lesson 8, Managing Infrequently Used Items Anna, have you ever wondered what to do with things you don't use often but still want to keep? Absolutely, John. It can be challenging to find a balance between decluttering and holding on to sentimental or occasional use items. One option is to consider storage solutions that keep these items organized and easily accessible when needed. That's a good point, John. Utilizing storage containers, shelves, or dedicated spaces can help keep things tidy and minimize clutter. Another approach is to evaluate the frequency of use and consider borrowing or renting items when necessary. Yes, John. Sharing resources with others or utilizing rental services can be a practical solution, especially for items used infrequently. Additionally, periodically reassessing the value and relevance of these items can help us make informed decisions. That's true. Our priorities and needs may change over time, and it's important to adapt accordingly. We can also consider donating or gifting items that hold sentimental value but are no longer in regular use. Absolutely, John. Passing on these belongings to someone who will appreciate them can bring joy and create space in our lives. It's important to remember that the memories associated with these items reside within us, not necessarily in the physical objects. That's a beautiful perspective, John. Letting go of physical possessions can sometimes free us and allow us to focus on the present. And if there are items we want to keep but lack space for, Exploring off-site storage options can be a viable solution. Yes, John. Renting a storage unit or utilizing shared storage facilities can help us safely store items without cluttering our living spaces. Ultimately, finding a balance between keeping what's meaningful and letting go of what no longer serves us is key. I couldn't agree more, John. It's about creating an environment that supports our well-being and reflects our values. So, let's find creative ways to manage infrequently used items, allowing us to cherish what matters most and embrace the space around us. Well said, John. Here's to finding harmony in our possessions, making mindful choices, and living with intention. Cheers to that, Anna. May our journey towards a more balanced and clutter-free life be both liberating and fulfilling. Lesson 9, Making a Purchase Okay, I'll take it. Where's the cashier? The cashier is on the ground floor, near the entrance. Great, I'll head there to complete the purchase. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome, John. I hope you enjoy your new item. I'm excited to start using it. Can you also let me know if there are any ongoing promotions or discounts? Certainly, John. 
I'll check for any current promotions and let you know if there are any applicable discounts. That would be helpful. I always appreciate saving some money whenever possible. I completely understand, John. It's always nice to find a good deal. By the way, do you accept different payment methods like credit cards or mobile payments? Yes, we accept various payment methods, including credit cards, mobile payments, and cash. That's convenient. I'll use my credit card for this purchase. Perfect. Once you're at the cashier, they will assist you with the payment process. Thank you for your guidance, Anna. I'll make my way to the cashier now. You're welcome, John. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. Will do. Thanks again, and have a great day. Lesson 10, Pizza Toppings Oh, that sounds tempting. What toppings do you use on your pizza? I like a classic combination of mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and mushrooms. That's a delicious choice. I personally enjoy a variety of toppings like bell peppers, onions, and olives. Those toppings add a nice crunch and flavor to the pizza. Have you tried adding pineapple? Yes, I have. I know it's a controversial choice, but I actually enjoy the sweet and tangy taste of pineapple on pizza. That's interesting. It's all about personal preference when it comes to toppings. Absolutely. Some people prefer meat toppings like bacon or sausage, while others enjoy a vegetarian option with spinach and tomatoes. It's great that there are so many options to cater to different tastes and dietary choices. Indeed. And let's not forget about the variety of cheeses available, like feta or goat cheese, which can elevate the flavors even more. Agreed. Cheese plays a crucial role in making the pizza rich and creamy. Do you have any favorite sauces to pair with the toppings? I'm a fan of traditional tomato sauce, but I also enjoy experimenting with pesto or barbecue sauce for a different twist. That sounds delicious. I'll have to give those sauce options a try next time. Definitely. It's fun to explore different flavor profiles and discover new favorites. I couldn't agree more. Pizza is such a versatile dish that allows for endless creativity. Absolutely. It's a crowd pleaser that brings people together. Well, now I'm craving pizza. Let's go grab a slice. Sounds like a plan, John. Let's indulge in some tasty pizza toppings and enjoy a satisfying meal. I'm looking forward to it. Let's dig in. Lesson 11, Social Media and the Beach Hey, have you noticed how social media has changed our beach experiences? Absolutely, John. It's had a significant impact on how we enjoy and share our beach moments. 
Yeah, now people are more focused on capturing the perfect photo for their social media feeds rather than simply enjoying the beach itself. That's true. It seems like people are constantly seeking validation through likes and comments on their beach-related posts. It's a shame because it takes away from being fully present and immersing ourselves in the natural beauty of the beach. I agree, John. Instead of feeling the sand between our toes or listening to the sound of the waves, we're glued to our screens. Plus, there's this pressure to showcase an idealized version of our beach experiences, which can be stressful and inauthentic. Absolutely. We should be able to relax and enjoy the beach without the need to create a picture-perfect image for others. And it's not just about capturing the moment but also comparing ourselves to others based on their beach posts. That's true, John. Social media can create unrealistic expectations and make us feel inadequate if our beach experiences don't measure up. It's important to remember that those picture-perfect moments aren't always a true reflection of reality. Definitely. Behind those filtered images, there are still challenges, imperfections, and moments that aren't shared. So, perhaps we should try to disconnect from social media when we're at the beach and focus on being present in the moment. That's a great idea, John. Let's embrace the simplicity and serenity of the beach without the distractions of social media. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Let's enjoy the sound of the waves, feel the warmth of the sun, and create our own genuine beach memories. Sounds like a plan, John. Let's make the beach a place of relaxation, rejuvenation, and true connection with nature. Absolutely, Anna. Here's to experiencing the beach with all our senses and cherishing those moments without the influence of social media. Lesson 12, Maintaining a Positive Client Relationship It's essential to maintain a positive client relationship while ensuring professionalism and quality service. I completely agree, John. Building trust and rapport with clients is crucial for long-term success. Right. It's important to listen attentively to their needs and concerns to provide the best possible solutions. Absolutely. Effective communication is key in understanding their expectations and delivering on them. And even when challenges arise, it's essential to remain calm, respectful, and find mutually beneficial resolutions. Yes, handling difficult situations with grace and empathy can strengthen the client's trust in our professionalism. We should also strive to exceed their expectations by going the extra mile and delivering exceptional results. Definitely. By consistently delivering high-quality work, we can build a reputation as reliable and skilled professionals. It's also important to be proactive in addressing any issues that may arise and keeping clients informed throughout the process. Regularly checking in with clients shows that we value their feedback and are committed to their satisfaction. And when we receive positive feedback or testimonials, it's important to express gratitude and acknowledge their support. 
Absolutely. Showing appreciation for their trust and loyalty fosters a positive relationship and encourages repeat business. Additionally, maintaining confidentiality and respecting client privacy is essential in establishing trust and professionalism. Yes, client confidentiality should always be a top priority to ensure their information is protected and secure. Overall, by prioritizing professionalism, effective communication, and exceeding expectations, we can cultivate strong and positive client relationships. That's right, John. Building and nurturing these relationships is not only beneficial for our business, but also personally rewarding. Indeed. Happy clients are more likely to refer us to others and become long-term partners in our success. Absolutely. Let's continue to uphold professionalism, provide exceptional service, and foster positive client relationships. Agreed, Anna. Here's to maintaining strong connections with our clients and delivering excellence in all that we do. Lesson 13, New Restaurant in Town. Hey, did you hear about the new restaurant in town? It's been getting a lot of buzz lately. Yes, I have. I've heard great things about their unique menu and cozy ambience. I'm really intrigued. I heard they specialize in fusion cuisine, blending different flavors from around the world. That sounds exciting. I love trying new and innovative dishes. It's a great way to explore different culinary traditions. Absolutely. It's like embarking on a culinary adventure without leaving the town. Do you know if they have any vegetarian or vegan options on their menu? Yes, they do. I read that they have a separate section dedicated to plant-based dishes, catering to different dietary preferences. That's fantastic. It's always nice to have inclusive options that cater to a variety of tastes and lifestyles. Agreed. It shows that they're mindful of the diverse needs of their customers. Have you heard anything about their desserts? I have a sweet tooth and I'm curious about their offerings. I heard they have a pastry chef who creates mouth-watering desserts that are both visually stunning and delicious. That sounds like a treat. I'll definitely save some room for dessert when I visit the restaurant. We should plan a visit together. It would be fun to experience the new restaurant and try different dishes. I'm up for it. Exploring new culinary experiences is always more enjoyable with good company. Absolutely. Plus, we can share our thoughts and recommendations afterward. It's like our own little food adventure club. Count me in. Great. Let's make a reservation and look forward to an exciting dining experience at the new restaurant in town. Sounds like a plan, John. I can't wait to savor the flavors and discover the culinary delights that await us. Me too, Anna. Here's to good food, good company, and memorable dining experiences. Lesson 14, Being Organized and Patient 
So, let's always remember to be organized and patient in our approach to work and life. Absolutely, John. Being organized helps us stay focused, efficient, and reduces unnecessary stress. It's true. Having a clear plan and keeping things in order allows us to tackle tasks more effectively. And when unexpected challenges arise, patience becomes crucial in maintaining a calm and composed mindset. Patience allows us to approach obstacles with a level-headed attitude, seeking solutions instead of becoming overwhelmed. It's important to remind ourselves that not everything will go according to plan, and that's where patience comes into play. Exactly. We need to give ourselves and others the time and space to navigate through difficulties and find the best path forward. Being patient also helps in building better relationships, as it allows us to listen, understand, and empathize with others. That's a great point. Patience fosters effective communication and strengthens our connections with colleagues, friends, and family. Moreover, being organized and patient go hand in hand. When we're organized, we're better equipped to handle unexpected delays or setbacks. Absolutely. A well-organized system provides a solid foundation that allows us to adapt and respond to challenges more efficiently. It's also worth mentioning that being patient with ourselves is equally important. We should embrace progress over perfection. That's a valuable perspective, Anna. It's through patience that we can learn and grow, celebrating small victories along the way. And when we encounter setbacks or face obstacles, being organized helps us regroup, evaluate, and find alternative solutions. Precisely. Organization and patience are powerful tools that enable us to navigate the twists and turns of life more effectively. Let's make it a habit to prioritize organization and patience, both in our personal and professional endeavors. Agreed, Anna. By staying organized and cultivating patience, we can create an environment that promotes success and well-being. Here's to embracing organization, practicing patience, and enjoying the journey as we strive for our goals. Cheers to that, Anna. Let's embrace these qualities and navigate through life's challenges with grace and resilience. Lesson 15, Appreciating Help and Successful Outcomes Phew, I'm glad everything worked out in the end. It was quite a challenging task. Me too. I appreciate your help and support throughout the process. It made a huge difference. Thank you, Anna. Teamwork and collaboration truly played a significant role in our success. Absolutely. It's amazing what we can achieve when we come together and leverage each other's strengths. I couldn't agree more. Your expertise and dedication were instrumental in reaching our goals. Likewise, John. Your leadership and ability to keep the team motivated were crucial in overcoming obstacles. It was a collective effort, and everyone's contributions deserve recognition. We worked as a well-oiled machine. That's true. 
it's important to acknowledge and appreciate the efforts of each team member. Gratitude goes a long way in fostering a positive and supportive work environment. Definitely. When we express gratitude, it boosts morale and encourages continued collaboration. And it also builds trust and strengthens our professional relationships. Absolutely. Taking the time to appreciate others' help and recognizing their contributions creates a positive feedback loop. It's a win-win situation. Not only does it make others feel valued, but it also enhances our own sense of fulfillment. That's a great point. Appreciation is a powerful tool that benefits both the giver and the receiver. So let's make it a habit to express gratitude and appreciation more often, not just when things go smoothly. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's celebrate small victories and express our gratitude along the way. Here's to embracing a culture of appreciation and recognizing the power of teamwork in achieving successful outcomes. Lesson 16, Double Checking for a Good Reputation Reputation is important, and it's crucial to ensure accuracy in everything we do. That's true. One small mistake can have a significant impact on how others perceive us. Absolutely. Let's make sure to double-check our work and pay attention to the details. Attention to detail is key. It shows our commitment to quality and professionalism. Taking the extra time to review and verify helps us maintain a solid reputation. It's better to invest that time up front rather than dealing with the consequences of errors later. Agreed. Accuracy and reliability are essential aspects of building trust with others. And trust is the foundation of a good reputation. It takes time to build but can be easily damaged. That's why we should always strive for excellence and take pride in what we deliver. We should also encourage a culture of accountability, where everyone takes responsibility for their work. Absolutely. By holding ourselves and each other to high standards, we ensure consistent quality. And if we do make a mistake, owning up to it and taking corrective action is equally important. Admitting mistakes shows integrity and a commitment to continuous improvement. Let's foster an environment where feedback is welcomed and we learn from our errors. That's a great mindset to have. Embracing a growth mindset helps us constantly refine our skills and knowledge. Continuous improvement is the key to maintaining a strong reputation and staying ahead. So, let's make it a habit to double-check everything and strive for accuracy in our work. Absolutely, John. Attention to detail and a commitment to excellence will help us build a solid reputation. Here's to being meticulous, reliable, and known for our exceptional attention to detail. Lesson 17, Embracing Fashion Finds Yes. I found a flowy dress and a crochet top while shopping today. 
That's great, John. Flowy dresses are perfect for a relaxed and effortless look. Absolutely. They're comfortable and versatile, suitable for various occasions. And the crochet top sounds lovely. It adds a touch of texture and bohemian charm to an outfit. That's exactly what drew me to it. I love how crochet details can elevate a simple ensemble. It's all about those little details that make a big difference in fashion. Indeed. Finding pieces that resonate with our personal style is always exciting. It's like discovering new ways to express ourselves through clothing. Fashion allows us to experiment and showcase our individuality. And when we find something we love, it boosts our confidence and makes us feel great. Absolutely. Dressing in outfits that make us feel good can have a positive impact on our mood and outlook. It's like wearing a piece of art that reflects our personality and creativity. That's a beautiful way to put it, Anna. Fashion is an art form we can wear every day. And it's not just about trends, it's about embracing what resonates with us personally. Exactly. Fashion should be a reflection of our authentic selves, not just following what's popular. So, let's continue exploring our personal style and finding those fashion gems that make us feel amazing. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Here's to embracing our unique fashion finds and expressing ourselves with confidence. Lesson 18, Exploring Yoga Classes I'll look for a yoga class nearby. I've been wanting to incorporate more mindfulness into my routine. That's wonderful, John. Yoga is a great way to cultivate mindfulness and take care of your well-being. I've heard it has numerous benefits for both the body and the mind. Absolutely. It helps improve flexibility, strength, and promotes relaxation. I'm particularly interested in the mental benefits, like reducing stress and finding inner peace. Yoga can definitely help with that. It focuses on breath awareness and being present in the moment. That's exactly what I need. A break from the busyness of life and a chance to center myself. It's a beautiful practice for self-care and self-discovery. I'm excited to give it a try. I'll let you know how it goes once I find a class. Please do. I'd love to hear about your experience and any recommendations you have. Will do, Anna. Maybe we can even attend a class together sometime. That sounds like a great idea. Practicing yoga together would be a wonderful way to support each other. Absolutely. Having a workout buddy can be motivating and make the experience even more enjoyable. I'm looking forward to it, John. Let's explore the world of yoga and embrace its benefits. Here's to finding inner peace and balance through yoga. I'll keep you posted on my progress. I can't wait to hear all about it, John. Good luck in finding a class and enjoy your yoga journey. 
Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your support. I'll be sure to share my insights with you soon. Lesson 19, Exploring Convenient Airline Connections I've been looking at various airlines with convenient connections for my upcoming trip. That's a smart approach, John. Finding the right airline can make your journey much smoother. Absolutely. I want to make sure I have a seamless travel experience with minimal layovers. Have you considered specific routes or airlines that are known for their efficient connections? Yes, I've been researching different routes and comparing airlines based on their schedules. It's a good idea to prioritize airlines that offer shorter layover times and well-coordinated flights. Definitely. I want to maximize my time at my destination and avoid unnecessary waiting. Some airlines even have dedicated hubs that make connecting flights more convenient. That's something I've been looking into. Direct flights or flights with fewer stops can be more efficient. It's worth considering if time and convenience are important factors for you. They definitely are. I want to make the most of my trip and minimize any potential travel disruptions. Another aspect to consider is the reputation of the airlines in terms of customer service and reliability. That's true. Positive experiences with airlines can make a significant difference in overall satisfaction. Reading reviews and checking customer feedback can give you insights into the quality of service. I've been doing that as well. It's helpful to hear about other travelers' experiences. It sounds like you're making a well-informed decision, John. I'm sure you'll find the best airline for your trip. Thank you, Anna. I'm doing my best to weigh all the options and make an informed choice. I have confidence in your research skills, John. Safe travels, and I hope you have a fantastic trip. I appreciate your support, Anna. I'll be sure to share my travel experience with you when I return. Lesson 20, Embracing Light and Comfortable Summer Fashion I'm interested in finding something light and comfortable for the warmer weather. That's a great idea, John. Summer calls for breathable and easygoing outfits. Exactly. I want to stay cool and stylish without compromising on comfort. Have you considered fabrics like linen or cotton? They are perfect for hot weather. Those are precisely the fabrics I've been looking into. They offer excellent breathability. Linen shirts or cotton dresses are versatile options that can be dressed up or down. I like the idea of a linen shirt. It's casual yet can still look put together. Pair it with some lightweight shorts or chinos, and you'll have a comfortable and stylish ensemble. That sounds like a great combination. I'll definitely keep that in mind while shopping. Another option is to go for flowy summer dresses. They're feminine and allow for plenty of airflow. 
flowy dresses sound ideal for the warmer days. I can imagine how comfortable they would be. Absolutely. Look for dresses with breathable fabrics and relaxed silhouettes. I'll make sure to try some on and see which styles suit me best. Don't forget about accessories. A wide-brimmed hat and sunglasses can complete your summer look. Good point. They'll not only add style, but also provide some much-needed sun protection. It's all about finding that balance between fashion and practicality. Agreed. I want to enjoy the summer weather while feeling confident in what I wear. I'm sure you'll find the perfect summer pieces, John. Embrace the lightness and comfort of the season. Thank you for the encouragement, Anna. I'm excited to explore summer fashion and create some stylish outfits. I can't wait to see what you come up with, John. Enjoy the process and have fun with your summer wardrobe. I will, Anna. Here's to embracing light and comfortable fashion for the warmer days ahead. Lesson 21, New Market Opportunities I've been thinking, Anna, I think it's a great opportunity for growth in reaching new markets. I completely agree, John. Expanding into new markets can open up a lot of possibilities for our business. Exactly. It allows us to tap into untapped customer bases and diversify our revenue streams. And it also helps us reduce our reliance on a single market, which can be risky in the long run. That's true. By expanding our reach, we can spread out our risks and create a more stable business model. Plus, entering new markets can lead to increased brand recognition and awareness. Absolutely. It gives us a chance to showcase our products or services to a wider audience. And we can learn from the unique demands and preferences of different markets, which can drive innovation. Right. Adapting to different market needs can help us refine our offerings and stay ahead of the competition. Not to mention that expanding into new markets can boost our overall growth and profitability. Definitely. It opens up avenues for increased sales and revenue generation. And with the right market research and strategic planning, we can make informed decisions and minimize risks. Absolutely. It's crucial to thoroughly analyze each market and develop a targeted approach. Agreed. We should consider factors like cultural differences, local regulations, and competitive landscape. By doing so, we can tailor our marketing strategies and effectively connect with the new customer base. and ultimately, seize the opportunity for sustainable growth and success. Precisely. It's an exciting prospect, and I believe we should explore these new market opportunities. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's start charting a course to expand into new markets and embrace the possibilities. I'm glad we're on the same page, Anna. Together, we can take our business to new heights. Absolutely, John. 
Let's make it happen. Agreed. Let's get to work and make the most of this incredible growth opportunity. Absolutely, John. I'm excited to see where this journey takes you, S. Me too, Anna. Let's go for it. Definitely, John. Onward and upward. Indeed, Anna. Onward and upward. Lesson 22 Outdoor Activity Experiences. Anna, have you ever been to any outdoor activity events? I've been to a few, and they are great for outdoor activities. Yes, I have. Outdoor events can be a lot of fun, especially when there are various activities to participate in. Absolutely. It's a fantastic way to enjoy nature and engage in exciting adventures. I completely agree. Outdoor activities provide a refreshing break from our daily routines. They certainly do. I find that being outdoors helps me unwind and recharge. That's true. The fresh air and natural surroundings have a rejuvenating effect on both the body and mind. Plus, outdoor events often offer a wide range of activities for people of all ages and interests. Yes, it's great because there's something for everyone. Whether you like hiking, biking, or water sports, you can find it all. Exactly. It's an opportunity to try new activities and discover hobbies that we may not have considered before. And it's also a chance to bond with friends and family. Outdoor events create memorable experiences and strengthen relationships. That's one of the best parts. Sharing adventures with loved ones adds an extra layer of enjoyment. Absolutely. The laughter, shared challenges, and the sense of accomplishment create lasting memories. Outdoor activities also promote physical fitness and a healthy lifestyle. Yes, they are a great way to stay active while having fun at the same time. And let's not forget about the beautiful scenery. Many outdoor events take place in stunning locations. That's true. The picturesque landscapes enhance the overall experience and make it even more memorable. I find that being surrounded by nature has a calming effect and helps me reconnect with myself. I feel the same way. It's a chance to appreciate the beauty of our natural surroundings and find inner peace. Absolutely. Outdoor activities provide a break from technology and allow us to disconnect and be present in the moment. It's refreshing to have a break from screens and enjoy the simplicity of nature. I couldn't agree more. Outdoor events remind us of the wonders of the natural world and our place in it. Definitely. They offer a much-needed escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. So, Anna, the next time there's an outdoor activity event, shall we go together? Absolutely, John. Let's plan to attend an outdoor event and make the most of the experience. I'm looking forward to it, Anna. 
it will be a great opportunity for us to have some fun and create new memories. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's embrace the outdoors and enjoy all the adventures it has to offer. Absolutely, Anna. Here's to many exciting outdoor activities in our future. Cheers to that, John. Let the adventures begin. Indeed, Anna. Let the adventures begin. Lesson 23, Profit Sharing Agreement. Anna, as our business grows, we must agree on profit sharing. I propose a 50 to 50 split. I understand the importance of fair profit distribution. However, I think we should consider other factors as well. What factors do you have in mind, Anna? I believe an equal split is the most straightforward and equitable approach. While I agree that fairness is crucial, we should also take into account our individual contributions and responsibilities. That's a valid point, Anna. We should recognize the efforts each of us puts into the business. Exactly. If one of us takes on more responsibilities or invests additional resources, it should be reflected in the profit distribution. I see where you're coming from, Anna. So, you're suggesting that the split should be based on our respective contributions? Yes, that's correct. It would be a more balanced approach that considers the value we bring to the table. All right, Anna. Let's discuss how we can quantify and evaluate our contributions effectively. Agreed. We can establish key performance indicators, KPIs, to measure the impact of our individual efforts. That sounds reasonable. By setting measurable goals, we can objectively assess the value we each bring to the business. And it will help us ensure that profit sharing aligns with our respective contributions. I agree. It's important to have a transparent and well-defined system in place. Absolutely. Transparency fosters trust and ensures that both of us feel valued and rewarded for our efforts. So, Anna, how about we revise the profit-sharing proposal to reflect our individual contributions? That sounds like a fair approach, John. Let's discuss the specific details and come up with a revised plan. I appreciate your willingness to find a compromise, Anna. It's essential for us to reach an agreement that satisfies both parties. I feel the same way, John. Collaboration and open communication are key to finding a mutually beneficial solution. Agreed. We've always made decisions together, and this is no exception. We'll find a solution that works for both of us. Absolutely, John. Our shared commitment to the success of the business will guide us in reaching a fair profit sharing agreement. I'm confident that we'll find a resolution that acknowledges our individual contributions and keeps our partnership strong. Me too, John. Let's continue this discussion and finalize a profit sharing plan that sets the stage for our continued growth.
I couldn't agree more, Anna. Together, we'll create a profit-sharing agreement that reflects our shared vision and values. That's the spirit, John. Let's work towards a fair and balanced profit-sharing arrangement. Indeed, Anna. Our commitment to fairness and collaboration will lead us to a mutually beneficial solution. Absolutely, John. Let's get to work and ensure that our profit-sharing agreement sets the foundation for our future success. I'm ready to dive in, Anna. Let's make it happen. Lesson 24, Embracing Challenges in Business Anna, navigating challenges is a crucial skill in business. It can be tough, but it's essential for growth. I completely agree, John. Overcoming obstacles is what propels us forward and helps us reach new heights. Absolutely. It's all about turning a negative into an opportunity for learning and improvement. I couldn't agree more. Adversity often presents us with valuable lessons and insights. Challenges push us out of our comfort zones and encourage innovation and creative problem solving. That's true, John. When faced with obstacles, we're forced to think outside the box and find new approaches. And through those experiences, we gain resilience and develop a stronger mindset. Resilience is key in business. It allows us to bounce back from setbacks and keep moving forward. Precisely. Instead of being discouraged by challenges, we should view them as stepping stones to success. I believe that challenges also provide an opportunity for personal and professional growth. I couldn't agree more, Anna. It's during challenging times that we discover our true capabilities and strengths. Absolutely. It's a chance to push ourselves beyond what we thought possible and unlock our full potential. Challenges also teach us the importance of adaptability and flexibility in a dynamic business environment. That's a great point, John. Being adaptable allows us to respond effectively to changing circumstances and market conditions. It's all about embracing change and viewing it as an opportunity rather than a threat. I completely agree. The ability to adapt quickly gives us a competitive edge and positions us for success. Challenges also foster collaboration and teamwork. It's during tough times that we come together and support one another. That's true, John. Working as a team allows us to pool our strengths and find innovative solutions. And when we overcome challenges together, it strengthens our bond and builds a resilient and united team. Absolutely. Challenges can be tough, but they also bring us closer and forge strong relationships. I believe that embracing challenges with a positive mindset is what sets successful entrepreneurs apart. I agree, John. A positive attitude and a willingness to face challenges head-on are crucial for long-term success. 
So, Anna, let's embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and keep pushing forward in our business journey. I'm with you, John. Let's face challenges with determination and use them as stepping stones towards our goals. Together, we'll navigate the ups and downs and come out stronger on the other side. Absolutely, John. We're a resilient team and we'll conquer any challenge that comes our way. I have no doubt about that, Anna. Our ability to embrace challenges will lead us to great success. I believe in us, John. Let's continue pushing forward and turning challenges into triumphs. I couldn't agree more, Anna. We're unstoppable when we embrace challenges with a positive mindset. That's the spirit, John. Let's face challenges fearlessly and create a remarkable business journey. Indeed, Anna. Together, we'll overcome any obstacle and achieve extraordinary things. Absolutely, John. Here's to our unwavering determination and the success that awaits us. Cheers to that, Anna. Let's conquer challenges and write our success story. I'm ready for the challenge, John. Let's make it happen. Absolutely, Anna. Let's make it happen, together.